All right, I brought Mr. Bucket. And uh, you and I are gonna have some talks here. So, what do I have here? What do I have today? So I said I'm gonna do something a little different. I think I explained exactly what I'm gonna do with this car. Initially, it's just gonna be a all-motor L33 with a fairly, a little bit more towards the wild end of the cam. Still like an off-shelf, nothing you have to do anything crazy, but certainly like a higher RPM max power kind of thing. I usually don't do that, but I'm gonna do a bunch of things that will lend to good testing and possibly good results for that. So the other thing is, I pulled this apart the other day, and I, I was thinking, I'm like, man, all this stuff, people always want to play tricks with all this stuff here, right? I turned up the exposure. Is it good or bad? I mean, the block was almost invisible. It has like a funny exposure thing for this area. That's lower. I don't know. Anyway, stick around. So I was like, I have never done any of that. Uh, most of the playing around with the oil pump or the relief spring or the barbell. Uh, I have a bunch of tweaks here today. And I have like a timing chain that was like 20 bucks. Uh, all those usuals. And I'm interested in... My beer got stuck in my zipper. Don't you hate when that happens? I'm interested in doing a bunch of these mods. Or at least freshening these pieces. And then seeing if I have stellar oil pressure because in my opinion my oil pressure has always been when i look at it it's like 40s and after you beat the tar out of it on a hot day you know ethanol fuels are getting all sloshed in there i've seen like 18 sometimes and obviously that's at a point where it needs to cool off or you can just keep ignoring it or it might need a change because the oil's all watered down with your fuel either way It'll be interesting to see. So I'm going to do a 70 pound relief spring. I'm going to do a barbell. And I've been doing this lately. If this, if the timing cover plate, if this guy has flat, see these uh, little gasket guys here, the little seal. If that is flat, I don't reuse them anymore. And my oil pressure has been slightly better. I just don't totally trust it once the gasket's flat. Uh, anymore. It's an easy thing to fix, so I haven't always done it. Man, for years and years and years, I haven't touched anything like this, and it works fine also. But I'm curious if everyone's always asking, why is my oil pressure low? Why? And I look at it and I laugh sometimes, but I'm curious if you spend this, what is this, $3, and this was $15, and the timing chain and gear was like $20, and a barbell was like $15. If all of that adds up to double my oil pressure, uh, it's something you guys might want to consider and I want might want to know in my head uh, as positive evidence or as a way to uh, disprove people who say this does a lot. So yeah, circumstantial, everything else. Hibbity-hobbity. Bippity-boppity. Um, so, are we in here? Try to get pretty close. So, I already loosened this guy up. And it has a... It's got the little springy dingy in there. There's the cap. So, I guess that's a stock truck spring, L33. Sprang. My hands are oily, and this is a beast of a plastic bag. Let me tell you what. You ain't ripping that thing. Razor blade that. Here we go. 70 pound relief spring. And another test I'm going to do is that filter block off. I'm not going to do it immediately. I want to see if it, it's super easy. Obviously, you pull the filter. And you swap that in, yeah, that's much more um, springy dingy. Purple spring from uh, your boys at Melling, I believe. It's a Melling part. I bought it off Summit, like 
got it in a day or two <laughs> as with per usual with summit so now i don't have any of my ratchets put everything away imagine that I put it all away like a dummy i pulled my tools away so i don't lose them except for that brian Tooley installer thing which man i swore it was in there All right, that's smashed in there for good. I want a 10 millimeter. I want a 10, what's this? Is this the 11? That's for a rod bolt. And then I think this will go on my new, are they also Torx or are they Allens? They're Allens this time. The stock ones are Torx. Okay. Oh, let's get a smaller Allen key. Oh, I should probably go up here. I should move some things in here, but not now. Not now. This one fits. So, we need this guy, and we have this guy, and then we need a 10 millimeter for pretty much everything. Grab the 10. My zip zip gun is over here somewhere. There he is. There he is. My phone over here. Everyone following along still. Okay. Ta-da! Oil pump off. Throw it on the cardboard. Kick the bucket. Okay. Let's toss on this cam plate here, which is a fancy recessed boy. I mean, that's just what it is. It is what it is. I think I said that last time. I might have said that too many times. Uh, we'll put this on. We'll toss uh, the timing chain on. Which I think for once, I actually wouldn't even use that one. It was, I think I showed it in the video also. That was extremely loose. I've never seen a timing chain like wiggling that much and then know I'm going to swing this thing for all it's worth. This is the 20 percenter build here, guys. I've done all the other builds. So this will be like sloppy plus. Don't BS me. All motor edition. Yeah, these are strippy little things right here. I had that Milwaukee turned all the way down. Heads up, kids. That Milwaukee will just ruin things if you aren't paying attention to what setting it's on. There's the barbell. Curious what that looks like. I've never even pulled one out. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, look, they gave me a drive, too. Look at this. They actually gave me the gear and the oil pump drive guy here and everything. Yeah. What do you think? Should we do it all? Wow. Unsub. Unsub. I'm out of here. Alright, that's a triple. I'm get I think I'm getting old. I can't see anymore. Like I need light. It's something with I keep complaining about the light over here. But it like cascades funny and I see less. I can see less. Okay. Let's, it is these three. It's these three. So you get that guy. 
And that's on the dowel, I believe. You can do this with water pump bolts too, so you can really pull it back easy. But I'm a seasoned veteran of ruining these things. So here we go. We'll see how this fits with this. Oh, you know what? I had like a one of the nice tensioners and everything. I couldn't find that either. Uh, that's with my other stuff. I probably put it away. Being a dummy, I, I probably just put it away and uh, never can't remember where I even put it away. Yeah, that should. I always wonder, like, I don't know. This is kind of experimental. No one else in the world is doing this. Or like SpaceX, but with less intelligent members. Um, okay, that was about here. I can see how many times I could drop this. That would be funny, too. Easy way to do this is to just bring it over a tooth. And then actually even look if your crank, <laughs> your crank is lined up. Oh, my goodness. Uh, my brain has left the chat again. You should probably go find another... YouTube channel where uh, they're not me. Um, that's pretty much there. Oh, if we need it to be better than that, we will put the 15 16 on it. Rotate your Mr. T starter set until it is. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We will, uh, again. Cam is just a slight bit off. Oh, we got it. Yep, see that? There's the pin. It all slid in nice. They're slightly offset, but when you turn one, the other's gonna, they'll turn into each other. That's acceptable. The other one was like, <laughs> it was basically touching all this. So that's, I'm totally fine with. They always, this scares the hell out of people. And man, the other one was, it really like, you could, I'm surprised it wasn't making timing chain noises, like scraping everything. But yeah, that's totally good. I did my relief spring. I can put my pump back on. I almost kicked the bucket across the room again, kids. That poor guy. He does not, he does not deserve this watch with his bolts all the way underneath. Um, see, once I have this together, I'm very curious if I can make this thing like oil pressure master. And then tell everyone it was a secret. But yeah, I'm curious, like, what is it always? Is it the bypass? Is it the worn out? I know the oil pump, the pickup O-ring, uh, is pretty easy to screw up and that'll... If you have one that's like this one, it was falling in and out, I'm pretty sure I did that enough to make a point. <laughs> Laughed about it for 10 minutes. All right. Then I hear there's a way People put like shims in every corner of this thing to like have the perfect amount of dead space. We are not, we don't do that here. Nope, we don't do that here. So, 
that's all this tied up. I think I want to do, I'll do my, I actually have an alignment tool that Summit sent me. Should I align the, I, mean, I don't know why this is so dim looking. You know, we'll blow out everything else just to make that better. I'll use my alignment dowel and the completely filthy timing cover together. That'll make the world happy. I think it's this one. Look at this thing. Yeah, so this goes on the crank. Focus! There it is. That goes on the crank, and then you can line up the timing cover with it. Twang. Look at that. It's kind of cool, right? Where's my... Turn this guy down so it doesn't blow a hole in the ship. Good job. Oh, just enough. That's on really low. Oh well. Might as well give them all a snuggie. So what this does is it centers the timing cover over the size of the balancer. Because what can happen is this can wiggle slightly. At least this is what the world says. I believe it too because a lot of mine have leaked out of this. Just pouring out of the seal. Uh, they're old too, so it's hard to tell if uh, misaligning it creates that leak or if it just 240,000 miles creates that leak. Okay. That, that is it for that. I say we do the oil pan. And then, man, I think we have a lot of it done. I literally, uh, like I said, I came across this and I was like, man, I'm going to do that. I'm going to look it up quick because I think it was like 60 bucks to get all of the, the oil pressure positives in a row there. So it's definitely, it's worth trying. I've never done it. And I uh, can't always do the same thing here. So people talk about it and I want to know if... Uh, uh, it's worth saying anything about or telling people to get over it. Just look at the no oil pressure and call it a day. Be happy it has five pounds. GM has a retardedly low, what is it, a 10 pounds per thousand PS or a thousand RPM? So 3000 RPM, 30 PSI is fine. Yeah, so. Okay. It's time to do the pan. Let me reposition and try to clean up. All right, so <clears throat> I cut this guy open real quick. I figured you guys wouldn't mind too much. Look at this thing. This is nice. Gasket, dipstick, tube pickup, everything. Came with a nice beefcake O-ring also. But this is a China looks like the muscle car pan. I'm curious how it will fit. Might be a tiny bit low, but it was 190 bucks for everything. Everything. So, trying it out. We'll see how it fits. But, yeah. Ta-da! All the things. So we'll start putting them in the vehicle. Okay, we're there. It's gonna go right about there, and then gonna razor it open. So easy way to clean up your 
tray here too is to throw out the old one also. Oh man. Okay. I guess we're good there. A little pump pickup tube and O-ring. Here we go. They give you the big boy ring with this one. Can you see it? That's thick with two C's. Should be perfect. I'll nick that open, slice the O-ring in half, get my finger, all, <laughs> get all of it. Wow, what a, what a nice piece. Um, use the pickup tube. I don't know how well it's going to be a pickup tube with all this cardboard on it. You guys ever see those Amazon reviews? For like a... Someone posted one of them the other day. It reminded me of... It's just in my head. Where they bought like a face shield. And it has like a protective green film. And everyone's like, you can't even see out of it. It's all green. And, and they, they don't know to peel it off. Maybe that's why I thought this would be funny. Anywho, here we go. We're going to get some wolf's head. Well, I'm out of wolf's head. We use extreme pressure lithium from uh, Advanced here in this household. So, uh, get some schmoo on this thing. Don't rip it. Get some more shmoo on this thing. This is like one of the ten things I take seriously. <laughs> like imagine just uh, having like nothing but oil pressure issues because you like you ripped this O-ring or some garbage thing happened. That would be terrible. Yeah, it's tight. It wants to go though. checking on it yep it's okay the camera you're in my way you're in my way are you okay you're not gonna flip over there oh there it goes it's zippy dippied this guy needs a little bit of a stretch back here Check the O-ring like three more times. Definitely tight. That is amazing. That's what you want. Where is my... I'm going to give this a bump with my dead blow. Pardon me. Excuse me. I would say it's pretty normal to have to bump this stuff to get it uh, where you want sometimes. Even for... A more expensive one. Not a huge deal. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more. Look at that precise machining we have there. And then we'll walk this guy in without the hammer on top. There it goes. And just for fun, it's definitely flat. Now we're going to put the, the bolt in it. All of those are contacting. Everyone's singing along. They're all happy. I bought Black Art TV today to do the corners. And I think I'm just going to do the whole lifter galley block off with Black Art TV. All right, where's the tiny? They give you two. One of these is for the pick the tube, the standoff tube, and then this one should be the pickup. It's the only. Yep, they have a separate bag with uh, this tiny little guy, and that's the oil pump guy, and then that's to hold the dipstick to the. 
side of the block. Where's my 10? All right. Yeah, right there. You guys can see it. It's kind of easy to strip this one out, too. It's, it's a 10 mil, but, man, it's got a small... I'll do the rest with a, a ratchet. But man, that O-ring was love and life. Plenty. Snap. Snap. <clears throat> These are all 13s. Oh, I need a 13. Running all over like a dummy. Oh, these have like lock. Oh, the uh, these guys have like a locking thing. Do it. Do it. Here it is. Yeah, I got like a little locker rocker. All right, I'm gonna pick these out not standing. It's taking way too long. All right, we got we got a whole bunch of them. Enough for the whole class. Sometimes you have to put like a short 10 mil on here with the extension to get in on some of these pickup tubes are not the greatest. We'll go to two. I didn't even look at that one. No look. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I'm curious to see how the muscle car pan here does. And I'm going to check uh, install height. Just the small little stuff that I've seen the Nelsons do, and it's all part of the oil control scheme, right? Is to control the height of this and the O-rings and the all of that. So yeah. All right. We're ready to put the pan on. So I got a thing of uh, what's it called? The right stuff. So I'm gonna do the drizzle the corners because they can leak out of these corners where the timing covers rear cover meets the pan because it's all like a multi-piece thing man this thing just keeps turding it's a turd disaster <laughs> so we'll get this on. It's ready to rock. We want to get like a bolt or two. Get the oil pan going because it's not perfect. The gasket was a little bit wavy. Are these 13 mils? This is decadent. 13 millimeter oil pan bolts. Shoo. Uh, stripped 
boom, strip. Not really. Not that time. There's plenty of time for me to do it yet. Like that. It's usually the gasket being all bunched up and other lies I will tell you. No, really, what, what does it matter? Yeah, it's getting adventurous back here. Is there an extension over there? You bet. Yeah, the gasket's like way out of whack back here. Let's straighten that one out. Just add more Milwaukee. Just throw the bolt across the room. Across the room. <laughs> they give me extras? This is a really low torque setting. You can hear it like it doesn't even want to go in. Is this for the thing? Huh. Yeah, I got extras. I probably forgot them somewhere, but that's fine. I won't call the cops if you don't. Look at that. So what I like to use is uh, setting two because in my opinion it's about 20 foot pounds. Wow, you are. Uh, whoo, that took some time, huh? Two is basically 20 foot pounds with this much extension, you know, probably 18, which is perfect for all the small bolts on an LS engine. You can believe me. What does Grand Thumb say? I have a doctorate in New Jersey. Something like that. I'm gonna check these. Ratchet, just to make sure they don't seem super loose or tight. Yeah, I'd only make them a little bit tighter than that. Yeah, that's where I would stop anyway. That one's tight. That one's as tight as I would make it. The wind out here is insane. Probably is where you guys are too. Ugh, everywhere from Florida. To here has had the wind. I would appreciate if it uh, goes away. I'm moving the camera. That's normally where I stand to do this, so again. You guys are slowing me down. Okay. That is everything. All right, next is the fan favorite, I would say. Installing the balancer by torching it. So I want to make sure these are clean so they slide in nice. And then I want to spray it with fresh, uh, whatever this is, 1970s can of Slick Fitty. And then we torch. Oh, 
I had a mild freak out. I have a Corvette one here and I have a truck one. I was wondering which one I had. practice. Well, I'll draw it in. I probably didn't get it hot enough. I mean, honestly, I'm feeling inept the last three days, but I'm getting it done. Keep getting it done. My toolie shit's supposed to be in there, excuse me. Supposed to be in there. You know what? I should just try try to put the bolt back on. I don't think it went in far enough for that. And you know what else I have? I think I have... You can get an LS7 crank bolt. And it's super long. I don't know why I'm talking about that. I, I can't find that either. So, oh, what is the difference? Where is my... I'm just working at it. Complete floor space here, kids. No. Oh, no, it has like a tiny thread on it. What did we say? It's going, I think. Comes back out. Threads look like they're not getting abused. At least we know the thing is tight. Look at that. Missions failed successfully. Is that how that goes? So, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed and we're gonna do, I'm gonna look at like my lifters, make sure my trays and lifters aren't garbage. I am done. I've had it. I had a day and then I did this, but I did this. I did this.